Hello friends, welcome to Suresh Agarwal's Mathematics Shortcuts. Let's start the series of videos for algebraic expressions. The chapter forms the basis of uh, higher algebra topics and most of the students who are preparing for competitive exams or preparing for your school exams, you can rely on this video to develop some basic concepts of algebra. That is how to assume a particular variable how to write an expression which contains a particular variable. Remember one thing, whenever you watch this series of videos for class 6 students and for uh, you know, competitive exams, don't forget to download the 60 questions practice worksheet, the link of which is given in the description box below here. After watching this video, click the link and download that worksheet. It's very important for you to solve all those questions to develop uh, you know, uh, whatever you gain through this video uh, into something very fruitful. So friends, this is lecture number 34 of this series of videos for class 6 students. And let me tell you, there are huge offers going on right now because your summer vacations are coming up. The ebook of short tricks. This is something everybody is, you know, trying to acquire. 350 short tricks in 338 neatly typed pages and it comes with video support. Reasoning course all also comes with the video support and then the CBSC practice worksheet. If you are studying in class 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, you know, we have lots and lots of uh, worksheets through which you can actually develop uh, those concepts and uh, ensure that you know each and every type of question thoroughly. So send me a message on WhatsApp 9896369963 that is the number or you can pay a visit to www.suresh.agarwal.in that's my name in the website. So the link of this particular practice PDF is given in the description box below. Let's see the questions in hand now. This is uh, like the very basic video for uh, the algebraic expressions chapter. So whenever you are given uh, a matchstick pattern and you are to write an expression which involves a variable which depicts the rule through which we have made this pattern. Then, see, you need to just see which pattern is repeating itself. See, the pattern which I have drawn there, we have a matchstick like this, the vertical, and then 1, 2, and 3, right? So, if you see this pattern, 1, 2, 3, you can keep on repeating 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, and so on. So, the pattern goes on and on. The only thing is the first line, this is an extra line there, which is not a part of the pattern. The pattern involves only three matchsticks. That is the second one, the third one and the fourth one. This pattern will keep on repeating like this. One, two and three and then on and on. So the first matchstick is an, this is an extra matchstick, which is not a part of the pattern. So one matchstick for the uh, first uh, part that is uh, the extra matchstick there in the first group of pattern and then the three matchsticks which keep on repeating themselves. If you have the number of patterns as x, that means you are taking the group of three matchsticks x times, then you will have how many 3x matchsticks which will be required to make those x patterns right so what are what is the what does the variable x represent here it represents the number of patterns that we require that means this is one pattern this is another pattern this is another pattern and so on so we have x patterns each pattern consisting of three matchsticks and therefore the total number of matchsticks required to make the matchstick pattern is 1 plus 3x so, if you can understand this, you can understand the second one very easily. See the pattern there. If you continue the pattern, two matchsticks will be placed like this and another two will be placed like this. Now, this completes the second part of our pattern. So, how many matchsticks were there in the first uh, pattern? There were four matchsticks. And obviously, the same number of matchsticks will be used to make the next pattern. That means four more. So if you have x patterns, that means x such x such groups, then 
4x matchsticks will be used for making that pattern. So friends, that's it. That's the basic use of the variable x. You start understanding what variable x is. You know, you have to use it for different things. When you are solving different type of questions of, uh, you know, uh, uh, situational problems, then you have to assume x as something. So x can assume any value which is a variable. Let's see these questions. So we have uh, the first question here. A bunch of grapes has 28 grapes. Write the rule which gives the total number of grapes if number of such bunches is taken as D. See, the same thing here. So in place of the pattern, we have a bunch. And the bunch contains 28 grapes. And now we have the number of bunches uh, as different. So one bunch has 28 grapes and therefore if you have the number of bunches, if you have two bunches, then it will be two times 28. If you have three bunches, then three times 28. And similarly, if you have D such bunches, then the number of grapes will be 28 times D. So you don't need to write multiply in between 28 and D. 28 D, that means 28 times D. So that is the answer for this question. Likewise, you can see the next one. Golu has some marbles out of which he gave away eight marbles to Modu. So there are two friends. So the first one has some marbles and he gives away eight marbles to Molu. So when somebody gives away a part of uh, what, what he has, then you have to subtract that from what he had already, right? So if you assume that Golu originally had X marbles, how many marbles will remain? You just have to subtract it from that. See, understanding where to subtract, where to add, where to multiply is really important. So in this case, because he gave away, that word gave away is really important here. Gave away. So gave away means subtract. So a x minus 8 becomes the answer of this question. Let's see these questions. Some properties are there in this chapter and you need to understand them well. So let's understand the associative property first. So associative property can be used for multiplication and for addition. When you have three numbers D, E and F, you can use the associative property of multiplication. If you multiply the first two and then whatever product you get, multiply that by the third. You will get the same product if you take the product of the second and the third and then multiply it by the first. See the use of brackets there. I have put first and second in the bracket here, second and third in the bracket here, but it won't make a difference. And this is called associative property of multiplication of three numbers. Likewise, if you have to express A times B plus C without brackets, there is a bracket here, right? So we use the distributive property. So distributive property means whatever lies outside the bracket can be distributed inside the bracket like this. So here we have multiply. So when you start distributing it, A will get multiplied by B and then plus this plus sign and then A will get multiplied by C. Even if you don't put the brackets here, it is perfectly fine because in board mass, you always multiply first and then add. So A times B plus A times C forms the answer for this particular question. So very important video for forming a very good base of this chapter of algebraic expressions. Watch the entire series of videos to learn more and uh, I'm sure you're going to develop a very good speed. Solve all the worksheets which I have been posting in the links below and I'm sure everything which you solve will contribute to your upskill uh, upskillment. Fine. So I hope you are sharing all these videos with your friends. Do subscribe the channel and click the bell shaped icon for getting all the notifications. Thanks for watching this and all the best.